Hi everyone, welcome to Michelle Reads and Vlogs and stuff. Um, in today's video we are going to be answering the question should you buy the July Books That Matter UK subscription box? Um, so to start with, let me give you a little bit of background. I have followed Books That Matter on Instagram and Facebook for months now. And every month I look at the box that comes out and I'm like, oh, should I, shouldn't I? Kind of money's been tight, so I've really had to decide what I want to spend my hard-earned money on. And every month I've just thought, no, no, not, not for me, not this month. And when the book boxes come out and everyone starts sharing, um, I get real FOMO. I get real fear of missing out. Um, and then this month they came along and they said what the theme of the month was going to be. And it was going to be feminist, dystopia and utopia. And those people who know me will know that dystopian fiction is like my favourite. It's one of my favourite genres in fiction. So I was like, you know what? This is my month so i bought the box um so i'm really excited to share what is in here i tried to do as few spoilers as possible so i have been avoiding books that matter on my instagram stories and it's not been easy because their story like i'm just watching other people's stories and then theirs comes along and i'm like ah! <laughs> and then i have to like swipe across really quickly um, so I really wanted to keep this as a surprise, but I know what the book is, which is a bit of a shame. Um, I haven't read the blurb yet. I saw it in um, the shop yesterday and I was so tempted to take it off the shelf and look at the blurb, but I didn't. Um, and now we're going to open this and we'll have a look. Um, for those of you who don't know, they send other goodies from feminist uh, companies within the box. Um, I don't know what any of those are. All I know is that there is this really nice smell coming from this box um, and I'm really looking forward to, to seeing what that is. So um, yeah, let's get on with it. Let's open the box. So exciting. Okay, so first thing we've got is the nice pink wrapping and there's a nice sticker on there that says books that matter. Um, one thing I did see on the side of the box as well was this quote, put in the classics of tomorrow in your hands today. Thought that was really cool. Okay, let's open. It's like Christmas. This is so exciting. Okay, so we'll leave the book until last, but it was exactly what I'd seen and what I thought it was. Um, let's start with the paper. Um, so it's a really cute bookmark, and I have seen that they've got cute bookmarks before. So uh, one side that says, everyone writes in a way that is. Each person has a story, a personal narrative, which is constantly being replayed, revised, taken apart, and put together again by Margaret Atwood. So that's super cute. Love the vibe of the artwork on there as well. And then on the other side is another Margaret Atwood quote. Nothing makes me more nervous than people who say, it can't happen here. Anything can happen anywhere given the right circumstances. That is awesome and kind of perfect for my life right now. So yeah, I love that. Very cute. Um, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Um, Penguin Specials Blue Ticket. And what other paper have we got in here? Uh, oh, what's this? There's two envelopes. So what's there to go in the envelopes? Ah, oh, it's a card. There's two cards. Really cute. Jolie and the Bear. One, two, oh, they're beautiful. Yeah, I always love like the artwork vibes that come in this box. Like the people who make this are just so creative. There's um, uh, a print of Margaret Atwood, print of Sophie McIntosh. 
And then a print of Octavia Butler. That's so pretty. Wow. And then you get this um, this little booklet. Okay, so the other bits in the box. Let's find out what the smell is. So um, there is a face and body soap bar infused with repurposed chai spices. And that's 100% vegan. So is it this? Fennel and cardamom. Cardamom? Cardamom? My English is so bad. It could be that. It smells a little bit, not too strong. Maybe it is. What's this? So, uh, Bird and Blend Tea and Co. Spreading happiness and reimagining tea. Oh, blue raspberry. No, it's not that. It's not that it smells. It must be the bar or everything. And there is a little bottle of nail varnish that is the cutest colour. So I don't wear nail varnish often, but how gorgeous is that? Absolutely beautiful. So I might have to try that later. Okay, and then that's the box minus the last thing, the book, which is The Mercies by Kieran Millwood Hargrave. Uh, the storm comes in like a finger snap. Winter 1617. The sea around the remote Norwegian island of Vardo, I think that's how you pronounce that, is thrown into a vicious storm. A young woman, Marin, watches as the men of the island out fishing perish in an instant. Vardo is now a place of women. 18 months later, a sinister figure arrives. Oh gosh, I'm going to butcher this name as well. Absalom? Cornet, Absalom Cornet, has been summoned to bring the woman of the island to heal. With him travels his young wife, Ursa. In her new home and in Marin, Ursa encounters something that she has never seen before, independent women. But where Ursa finds happiness, even love, Absalom sees only a place flooded with a terrible evil, one he must root out at all costs. So good. Um, I do have a lot of other books on my TBR, but I might have to read this before anything else because that sounds absolutely brilliant. Um, it doesn't look too long. It looks pretty standard, just over 300 pages. Yeah, that's very readable. Um, yeah, so that is our first Books That Matter UK box opening. I'm really happy with this. Do I think that you should go and buy this? Um, depends. So, um, as a whole, the box was £17 and £3 for postage. So £20 um, all in. Um, do I think that everything, so this and the soap bar and the tea and the prints and the, the kind of other paper things and the nail varnish are all worth £20? Um, Probably not, but what you are supporting here is something so much bigger than just buying a book. You're supporting this community of feminist book lovers and driving the world to be a better place. So my advice is if you do not have the money, do not spend money that you do not have. Getting into debt over books is not worth it. Um, but if you do have the money, go and subscribe. Like, I was so excited about this. And I think even more than just the actual products, just the excitement about it was worth the £20. So like when the postman was um, coming down my driveway, they opened the gate and I ran to the door and got to the door before they even got there. Um, I was really excited for this to arrive. And then open it has been really exciting. Um, so yeah, if you've got the money, go for it. I think I will be subscribing every month now. Okay, thank you everyone if you've watched to this point of the video. Um, I really appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Thanks then. Bye!